Hi, this is Derek with Your Optic, and today on Spotlight, we are talking about March. So the brand is pretty well known to some, but I think that we can expand upon that because they are some of the, the best sort of out of the box thinkers in the scope market. And today, to prove that, we are looking at this, which is their one and a half to 15 by 42. Now on the phones, a question that we get very often is, uh, what scope do you go with when you're trying to combine something that's small enough and light enough for hunting, also with good glass, but also something that has the features such as reticle and turrets that you need to make longer range shots, be that long range hunting, or you just want a, a rifle that you can hunt with in November and then take to the range in the summer. A lot of people are using one gun to do both things. So what scope do you go with? Here's one to look at. Now on paper, it seems to check all the right boxes. It's a really good magnification range for most types of hunting. One and a half down low, pretty much you can make a point blank shot with that. 15 power up top in the right hand, that's a thousand yard scope, sometimes more. So with this though, they've been able to cram a whole bunch of features into a scope without making it physically large and without making it heavy. Now on the video, as you can probably see, it does appear to be very compact, and it is. It's about 10 and a half inches long, and uh, since a lot of guys cannot relate to that, here's something that you can relate to. It's about the size of two Pop-Tarts laid end to end. As far as the weight, it comes in at a smidge just under 22 ounces, which is uh, pretty damn light. Uh, most scopes of the tactical variety are in the high 20s, low 30s, some are even higher than that, so 22 ounces for a scope like this, Pretty good weight. Now onto the turrets. It has exposed elevation and windage. The, the clicks feel nice and solid. They're not super loud. They're not super heavy or super light. That way they can't get moved accidentally in the field. They do have travel, lots of it. This particular one, 150 MOA of travel, which I which I reckon is enough to look up its own ass. The turret is also what's called translating. So as you spin it, it physically moves away and towards the rest of the scope, depending on what direction that you're going, of course. And as it does that, it exposes these horizontal lines. That way you know exactly where you're at in the travel. As far as the reticle, it is the MTR five second focal plane. Now I think I might've just lost some of you at the words second focal plane, but hear me out. This is pretty clever because on the power ring here, it has your numbers to indicate what magnification, of course, but the 10 and the five are, are written in red. That way you know at what uh, magnification that the reticle subtends at. So at 10 power, each one of those hash marks is two minutes of angle. At five power, you just double that, so it's four minutes. So you can still use the reticle at high and low power. It does have a lighted reticle in the form of a dot in the very center. You control it by turning it on and off with this button here, and you can control the brightness with this little knob here. So you can set the brightness before you turn it on. Onto the parallax. It has a minimum setting of 10 yards, which makes it really good for both close range hunting, but also rimfire shooting. That, speaking of rimfire shooting, uh, compared with the sheer colossal amount of travel in the scope would actually make it a pretty good scope for long range 22 shooting since it has all that travel. So to recap, it's uh, compact, it's lightweight, it has all the features that you need for both close and long range shooting or hunting. And uh, the glass quality on these is absolutely spectacular. So it definitely should be on your radar when picking a scope to do such things. Now, as we film this, we have a ton of these in stock, but also a bunch of other March scopes. So definitely check them out. With the scope comes a bunch of extra accessories here. Flip caps as standard, sunshade. It will ship with these little sort of temporary caps on it, but you can kind of ditch those. Uh, power throw lever, manual, cleaning cloth, that sort of thing, tool for the turret, but also it comes with this. It's, uh, it screws into the objective end of the scope and it, it uh, cuts down the brightness. Uh, so if things are a bit too crazy out there, too, too bright in the area that, that you're looking at, this does cut that by about 50%. So you kind of can tone that down if you need to. 
So uh, if you have any further questions on this scope or anything else that we sell, you can please give us a call. We can talk about it. You can talk to me directly. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, subscribe, like, YouTube, comment, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>